So now that we got the clock properly lubricated, um, it's a good idea to put it on a test stand. I'm using this for now because I'm using that clock on this stand. Um, but whatever works, uh, whatever floats your boat. And in this case, this one will work fine as long as it's uh, not interfering with any of these fans or flywheels and it's not interfering with the pendulum swinging. So we put the pendulum, we want to make sure it's swinging also. It's a good idea to do this because we're checking for any chime problems. Um, you want to make sure the clock is not stopping and adjusting the strike or the chime, uh, adjusting the beat, just to test it overnight or a few days or one week. And then once we're done with that, then we're going to do the casing. Uh, so it's cool. what's the cool thing, it's got this leveling feet in case you need to, uh, just to make sure it's leveled and running. Um, now if it's not ticking properly, the beat is off. So just the beat on this model, this is a crutch or pallet fork. Um, anyways, this can be bent from left to right to adjust the beat. Um, if the beat's off one way, if it's ticking faster one direction, that's the direction you want to bend it. So if it goes tick tock, then you want to kind of go that direction but anyways that's another video um very very easy you just have to work with this but first off you want the clock to be uh finalized when you before you give it back to the customer uh you want to make sure that the, when the clock is in the case is leveled on a level surface it's good to have one of those bubble level gauges like this or something better than this um put it on your surface make sure you adjust the beat and then after when the customer takes it home it's working fine so I'm um, just gonna test it out, make sure the chimes are working. There's a lot of adjustments here, a lot of levers that need special attention. Over here, and you got a rack, you got the cam over there, and a lot of gears in there that need um, a close look. After that, it's casing. It's very simple. Put the screws back together, pendulum, the hands, the, uh, according to the the proper position and the, the chimes working properly, and then adjusting the hammers. Um, so adjusting the hammers to the rods, so if you have the rods over here, for example, um, well I have a special tool, and you can make one of these at home or you can buy it ready made, it has a little slot and a notch, and you just put it in there and kind of bend the hammer whichever direction you need to. Very critical to get the right tone, you don't want the hammers to rest on the rods, you want it to reverberate. Yes, reverberate so that way it uh, makes the proper sound and not a clanging, changing noise. Um, after that, every, you know, I'm happy, the customer's happy, and the clock's working good, and that's it.